Hi, I'm here at Max Pro Technologies. Today we're looking at a hydrostatic test bench that we designed for a customer. Um, this is a 12 foot long test bench and it's rated for 10,000 PSI. Uh, this particular customer is testing large pipe for the oil and gas industry, um, but there's other uses this bench can be used for. Um, it could be used for pressure testing any type of pressure components that um, requires pressure and requires protection uh, for the operator. Um, it also can be used to uh, be used in hydrostatic um, and autophotage testing. This bench contains two electric actuators and it opens the test lid and I will demonstrate that for you now. So we open. So at this time the operator could install his test subject. Um, we have some safety features on this bench. Um, it has light curtains in the front, which protects the operator. Um, in the case of the someone would be lowering the test chamber door and someone would put their hand in there, it would automatically stop the door. So that's a safety feature. Also the sides, plexiglass sides on it to also protect the personnel. Control cabinet, this is what the operator will use to enter in his test parameters. Um, it has a touch screen on it and so what this PLC does is interpret the operator's uh, test parameters. It controls four maximator liquid pumps. It interprets what set pressure um, is going to be used for the test and it decides what pump to be used. Um, the gauges over here, this lower gauge is for pressures under 500 PSI. The upper gauge is uh, for pressures um, to 10,000 PSI. Then you have your air supply pressure and shutoff and water supply pressure and shutoff. You have an e-stop that closes everything off and shuts everything down and vents everything in the case of an uh, emergency. Um, and your open and close buttons are right here. Okay, so now the operator could install his test subject to be tested and once it's in there, um, then we could close the door. And once the door is down and secure, um, then the operator will come and put in his test parameters. Okay, so this is the PLC. So the operator would come and he'd select his recipe from the recipe page. Once he has that loaded, then all he was, would have to do is push the start and the PLC interprets the ramp rate and this particular test is uh, 5,000 PSI set point. And once it gets there, it's a one minute dwell I believe that we have in the, in the program. So it'll sit there for one minute, and then afterwards it will vent after the dwell time. And so in this time you can push the trend screen and you can, this is some previous tests we did, and you can see what, where, what test you were on. It records the test. Also, um, we have a data transfer mode where we can transfer the data to the USB or to an um, Ethernet cable. Um, and all this can be viewed on our website at maxprotech.com and under the data logger module. And so after the test, after it vents down, you should get a test completed and you get a pass. And the operator will acknowledge this, meaning that you had a successful test 
and you had no leaks, and so this is he would go on to the next next test subject.